So first things first, what you got under the hood on this car? This is a 6.2 liter V8. So it's a massive size engine under the car. And the vehicle weighs roughly around 4,500 pounds. So it's got a little weight to it, but the horsepower is outrageous. It's 707 horsepower. So if you wanted to haul butt down the road, oh yeah, you can haul butt down the road. If you wanted to bark the tires and put some smoke in the air, you can do that with this. Okay, this is again, a pure American muscle car. And it's sitting in the showroom of a Honda dealership. Is that not, that's weird, isn't it? Yeah, it's in the showroom at a Honda store. <laughs> but anyways, there's a great story and a backdrop about this car, but I can't release that particular information on how we got it today. All right, now with any vehicle that's got a massive size engine, it's gonna have massive size brakes. That's right. So first of all, you got a 20 inch wheel on here that's gorgeous, okay? If you love bronze colored wheels, well, this is exactly what you have. And then if you like big Brembo brakes with the red calipers, that's what you have right here as well. Now your tire on here is of course a Pirelli tire, which Pirelli seems to make phenomenal tires for going fast and sticky and getting on the road and gripping it around turns and all that kind of thing. So beautiful rims, beautiful tires. They're a 275 40 series ZR20. So you got a great tire to go along with a big old engine. And those brakes also, the rotors you'll notice are slotted in there, helps them cool down faster. And those big four piston calipers are gonna help this vehicle stop a lot quicker from a zero to 100 mile per hour to 100 back down to zero. That's stopping power when you need it on the Hellcat. So Dodge has done a great job on the front end of the Hellcat. Now, when you're making it on the front and the party's in the front of a vehicle, just like at your house, party in the front, you gotta have a party in the back. And that's what we got going on on the rear of the Hellcat. So again, it's sleek, stylish, it's got the beauty that you're looking for, and you can't go wrong with a black vehicle. I mean, it's just, it's got that mean look to it, stealthy going down the road at nighttime. So when, I make, when I'm saying a party in the back, I'm talking about dual exhaust for that big 6.2 liter with 707 horsepower, don't forget that. Backup camera, because you don't want to run over a kid's skateboard or scooter when you're pulling out of your back driveway. And then you'll notice this nice little deck lid spoiler here it's not too big and it's just nice and clean and just the flow so nicely over the car. So the rear end's looking good. And if you have never seen a Dodge at nighttime, the taillights, they got an illumination about them with the LEDs that are so bright, it almost reminds you of David Hasselhoff with Knight Rider back in the 80s, right? That's cool. Now take a look at the side of the vehicle. I mean, just look at the beauty. And also him, he's gorgeous as well. But the side of that Hellcat has got something about it that says vroom, race, going fast, right? It's got it going on. And I'm gonna point out a few things to you right now. So, what you can see on the side is this right here. That kind of, I don't know, if you ever seen a, a F1 fighter jet going down or flying super fast and they wanna hit you know, uh, whatever they call it, uh, break the speed barrier or the sound barrier. There's, there we go. Yeah, be free to comment on the video as well. But if, if you ever seen a jet flying real fast on a video and breaking the sound barrier, it kind of does that. It kind of breaks the barrier and that's what Dodge has done on the side. They've broken the barrier of speed on a four-door sedan. Now I also want to point out to you the wheelbase. Okay, wheelbase for some of y'all uh, amateurs out there is from front to back, okay? Look how long it is, right? That's gonna give you a better ride quality. If you've never ridden in a, uh, a limousine, if you have gone to prom in your limousine, you, you felt how nice and smooth it was riding. So vehicles that have longer wheelbases are gonna ride so much more smoother and won't feel the bumps on the road and things like that. So, Dodge is still flowing. Now let's go take a look at the interior because that's really where we spend a lot of time at while driving down the road. So here's the key to the Hellcat. Take a look at that pretty looking key there. Now what I can tell you about this key is you got remote start right there. So it's nice to have remote start in the winter or uh, summertime, cool the car off, warm the car up, right? 
But what's really nice about the key is it's a smart key. That key can stay in your pocket or purse and when you walk up to the car, it literally knows you're there and there's a button right here that you click and goodness gracious, the headlights are on, the car is alive. Let's hop in and see what's going on. Now before I sit in this luscious, comfortable, racing bucket seat, I wanna tell you right off the get-go, you're gonna be wowed by the interior on the Hellcat. It's worth every penny you pay for this vehicle. Dodge has made sure of that, that they don't want complaints from people that they spent 60 or $70,000 on a vehicle. They want their customers to know that, look, you paid 70 grand for that car, you're getting every penny that we can put into it, from technology to sports car to craftsmanship, fit and finish. This car's got it. Let's get a closer look. All right, let's hop in and take a look. As I'm telling you right now, this is going to be nice. We're going to start out, though, by looking at your seats right here. I mean, again, like I said, this is luscious right here. Look at that seat. It's big. It's got big side bolsters on it. I mean, it knows that you want to do some drifting and doing things like that. The seats are also perforated with the leather with the holes in them. Let's them breathe and stay cooler for you. But, I mean, look at that seat. That is a beautiful seat on the Hellcat. Also got some power options right there and lumbar support right over here. But let's go ahead and sit down in this comfortable seat and see what we think. Let's take a look. Let's see what we got going on. Now I'm doing my best not to crank the car in the showroom because it's loud, okay? I can promise you that. But uh, I'm gonna cut it on real quick, just like that. Put my finger on that. And let's turn this big light down real quick so y'all can kind of see. The Hellcat logo pops up right there. SRT rolls through right there, looking nice. So I can tell you they're high definition screens in here. But uh, one thing that's nice is the steering wheel. Look at this. Now I've seen paddle shifters on the Hondas and things like that, but it is not a paddle shifter like this. Look how big that thing is. It really, I mean, it's got that sporty feel to it, which is nice. The steering wheel is definitely leather wrapped. It's got nice stitching on it right there, as you can see. All your features and controls and your buttons to control everything inside the car, cruise control over here, so that's nice. Your door panel does got all your power options, also has auto up and down features right there for you, and then you got memory seat options right over here. So it's got all the features you could even find in a luxury vehicle, folks, and more. So this is nice. You know, I've seen a lot of navigation systems, and I actually really have believed and thought that Dodge has done a great job with their with their setup. I mean, the overall look of it looks great. I've never owned a Dodge, so I don't know how it works on a day-to-day -day basis. But um, just the whole overlay and the screen and just everything looks so nice and fresh. And again, this is a 2015 model. But uh, just to go over a couple things, you got controls, climate, nav, phone, media, radio. It's got a lot of stuff. And, I'm, and like I said earlier, it's got a backup camera as well. Now, here's the thing. It's an automatic, okay? It's not a six-speed manual transmission. But again, with 707 horsepower, I think I'd like to have an automatic. I think that would actually help me keep control of the car a little better. Not real carbon fiber. Does got that look a little bit about it, as you can see, but not the real deal. But right here is nice. You got your uh, cup holders there. You're gonna have to have some decent cup holders to hold those supersized cups in going fast. And then a big center console here to go ahead and write me a check today. Down in there though, you do got your USB auxiliary port. I see a SD card slot right down in there. It's deep and you got a little spot to throw change and all that kind of thing there. So very nice. Up top, if we, let's go ahead and take a look real quickly here. Again, this is kind of a walk around in-depth video of the, the Hellcat, which is for sale. And um, you do have sunglass holders there for Maui Gems or Ray-Bans. Interior lighting looks good. Home link for garage door openers. And then you can cut the lights on right there as well with those. Both mirrors should have vanities, yep. So vanity mirrors got lights in them and all that good stuff. It's got these little extenders right there that pop out. And that's on both sides. Of course you gotta have a mirror for the ladies. And the headliner's in great shape. Overall, car's very clean. This car only has, look at this, mileage on it. Uh, 13, uh, 1,313 miles on it. So low mileage, okay, extremely low mileage. So very clean car. Back seat's got a decent amount of space, as you can see. So not bad at all. You know, any city you live in, you'll be able to find a Hellcat somewhere for sale at any Dodge dealership. But what I can tell you is this one's unique because it is 
a 2015 with only around 1,313 miles on it. So low mileage, that's something that kind of makes it unique and uh, a little different than all the other ones out there. All right, after watching this video, if you have any interest in buying this particular Hellcat right here today at Stokes Honda North, the price right now currently is $64,638. So again, $64,638 is the selling price of this 2015 Hellcat with only 1,313 miles, so low mileage. And if you were to go price a new Hellcat today, you would see that that's a pretty substantial discount on this particular car right here. So again, if you're in the market, come on down to Stokes Honda.